Hello YouTube, this is DJ Zolgage Trains. This is my first weathering project. Um, these are my R12 subway cars. You've seen this powered car here in a few other videos. Um, I did a video of it in its original uh, look, just plain white. And then I did a video of it with some graffiti mixed in with my uh, R17 graffiti cars. And here I am doing another video of it, uh, weathered and customized, here with the add-on 2-pack. So, there you go. This is uh, half the train I want to do. I'm in the process of slowly creating my own custom six-car subway set. Um, so actually a seventh car because I've got a work car back there that I'm working on as well and I'll quickly show you that I don't think that car is quite as exciting as these but um, nonetheless it's still pretty cool as I knock things around okay but um, this project was a lot of fun for me and also a lot of work um, it took a lot of time, but in all honesty, it didn't take a lot of thought. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to uh, the graffiti on the train or, uh, you know, all the smudges and smears. I was just trying to replicate the New York City Transit Authority in the uh, mid-80s, uh, right before the end of the graffiti era. Um... This white paint scheme was applied to a lot of the cars, and it really just became a uh, a canvas for graffiti artists. Um, the pure white didn't last very long. Eventually, these white cars got really, really dirty and run down and grungy and just terrible looking, uh, very much like this. And um, they were covered in graffiti inside and out. Uh, the subways were just not exactly very safe at that time period. Uh, you definitely didn't want to ride them at night. Um, and it was just a bad time for the New York City Transit Authority. It took a lot of effort and a lot of money to uh, get the uh, Transit Authority in New York City to where it is today. Uh, but back then, this was just a very dark time. And um, so, but I wanted to replicate that. It's a time period in history. MTH did it. Uh, with their R17 graffiti set and the uh, dealer appreciation R32s, which have graffiti on the doors, and um, the MTA did not appreciate that very much, and it resulted in a lawsuit. Um, so, in order to get any more graffiti sets, you got to do them yourself. So, I decided to do that myself, in addition to weathering the uh, cars. So, I think it looks really, really cool. I'm happy with how it came out. Um, it looks really run down and grungy, and uh, it looks very realistic, in my opinion. I looked at some photos of these uh, white subway cars uh, with the graffiti on them, with some weathering, and the car that I found had this uh, rusty, tannish color, um, just kind of running down the sides of it. it looked like it was coming from the vents and then of course I got the black grime on top there that uh, a lot of the cars had on them too so um, I just made it a total mess and that was the goal so I also did the interiors so if you look inside this car there's graffiti inside There's a subway map over there. I put some decals in there. An advertisement. Another one. As a matter of fact, I can actually just lift this up quickly because I didn't screw it down yet. And I can show you what I did to the inside. You just think of random phrases to put in there. Get lost. Don't come back. You know, XO, XO. You know, hug and kiss. You know, whatever. Anything that pops into my mind, I just put in there. Even Google image Chinese symbols. Uh, put my initials in there. 
they put go away on the door so you know I just put all kinds of phrases on this car you know on the inside and I could also show you uh, I even weathered down to the trucks I'll, show, I'll go around the other side and show you that a little better in just a second There, got some Chinese symbols right there. Smile right there. Male and female symbol. And then the other side just has, you know, all kinds of interesting scribbles in the, on it as well. So, just whatever popped into my head is what I did. You know, I really did make this my own. I signed my initials on it. I signed my girlfriend's initials on it. I put my mom's initials on it. Just, you know, people that I love, I just put on it. And, um, you know... And then I got the skull and crossbones over there. Uh, and this window actually broke during the process. So I decided to keep it. As you can see. That was an accident and I decided to make the mistake work for me. And uh, so I'll come around the other side. If I can fit, oh, there's my fist. And I'll show you this side. This is cool because you can actually see the whole car. I thought the platform would be a good backdrop, but uh, you can see the weathering down on the trucks a little better this way. That's another mistake, kind of looks like the window is slipping out of the uh, slot that it would slide up and down on, and uh, I thought that was a pretty cool touch. So, I left it. I did not remove it. So I am going to make this a six car set. I want to get one of the R17 Canary Redbirds and I want to get uh, an add on two pack of R26 Silver and Blues when they are released. So uh, I have no idea when MTH is going to release that. Those of you who collect MTH know that they are, uh, uh, just to put it simply, it takes a long time for them to produce their uh, products from the time they are announced. So. You know, but in the meantime, I might pick up the Canary Redbird R17 and get that uh, weathered and graffitied up. Oh, well, let me just pan over the roof real quick, and then I'll show you the work car. I almost forgot about the work car. And then I'll run it back and forth a couple of times on this little track, um, and then we will call it a review. And the next video will be of uh, the train when it's got a couple of more cars finished uh, running. Uh, by the way, um, if you're interested in what you see, if you like it, if you want to leave a comment, please let me, uh, please leave me a comment. I like to read them. I like to see what your thoughts are. Um, you know, it's just cool. But uh, here you go. I pulled the power out of this car. I'm going to just let it run dark. But uh, I put these boards over the windows. Um, some of the older uh, work cars I've seen have boards over the windows. I don't know what the method is behind that, but I thought it would be pretty cool to replicate. So uh, I just painted that a sheet of styrene yellow and plopped it on there, put a graffiti decal. I sprayed the whole car in dull coat, um, as I sp and I did the same thing to the bottom uh, of these cars, uh, the trucks and the uh, undercarriage, sprayed in dull coat before I put any paint on them. Um, put a TA logo right there. And then one other thing I saw in a work car is a ladder going up uh, where the door was. I just found this on the New York City Subway dot org. Um, so this is loosely based on that car. Um, 
and I thought it would be pretty cool. I had this old ladder from a tank car, and I just uh, used the Dremel tool to cut it down to the right size and glued it on there. So I think it looks pretty cool. And here's the other side of it. Uh, I'm not going to put any graffiti on this side, and I didn't leave any windows exposed. So I'll do some light weathering on this, um, and you know I'll do more. I'll do more video on this when I ha when I weather the other work cars that I have, and so on and so forth. But uh, there you go. So what I'll do is, in conclusion, just turn this on and run it back and forth for a minute. Don't shut itself off. But I put it, I put the figure in the rail, rail fan window over there. I think that's really cool. I used to love to get up in the uh, rail fan window of the, you know, I never rode R12s, but uh, I rode plenty of R26s and R36s and uh, R40 slants and, uh, you know, all the trains that had the rail fan windows. I used to like to get up there and ride in them. But here you go, I'll run it back and forth for a minute. Alright, well there you have it, DJ Zogage Trains. Hope you liked it. Um, I will do a video of this set running when I got some more cars and be a whole lot less talking. Um, but I hope you liked it. I'm going to be working on a lot of my trains. Um, I have a lot of trains in my collection and I've been wanting to detail them for a while so I think I'm going to be slowing down from purchasing new models. Um, I will purchase some new models but not nearly as much as I have in the past and uh, really start to concentrate and work on uh, the stuff that I already have and get it looking really, really cool. So, I do have some things on back order. Uh, I'll purchase them as they come in. But um, I'm going to slow it down a little bit and really get what I have looking like this. So, well... Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not going to take a beautiful set and weather it down like this, but... Um, I want to make my stuff look more realistic, so that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, i got some Amtrak cars out there. That's going to be uh, probably the next project, as well as some other subway sets. So, in any case, hope you liked it. DJ's Old Gage Trains, and I'll see you next time. Please comment if you uh, have any, anything to say about this set. Take care.